Yo and welcome to another tutorial. Today we're going to make a tutorial based on a vocal sample. So I'm going to load up a sample that I prepared sent earlier today. Where is it? There it is. And the idea is to have it randomly start at different points. Um, so it's going to be like a note triggered type of uh, effect or sequence um, depending on how you want to put it so let's start up with firing up a random and turn the chaos down and I want to map this to the offset around 50% and then we're gonna up this one 50% because it's gonna go minus 50 and plus 50 percent if that makes sense um, and let's fire up some notes over here let's solo this guy first it's very silent i need to check the levels yeah it's quite silent um let's up this guy a little bit I think that'll be fine. And I'm going to play it on the uh, root note of the sample because it's tuned to this C3 in Ableton. Psychedelic, psychic, psychedelic, 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 not gonna think too much about where I put the notes. Psychedelic, 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 just gonna randomize the note length a little bit. There we go. Uh, so if we head into our sample here, uh, let's uh, start mounting this guy. So I want to have another random. I'm going to change this to loop and I want to take it to sustain. Take it around there, maybe around 50%. Change this to unipolar to the start position. Maybe let's make it bipolar too. So if I just you can see it change. <clears throat> then we go to our. Um, Sorry about that. Uh, I want to have a random as well on the pitch. But I want a unipole because I want it going up and not down. I think 12 semitones will do just fine. Psychedelic. Psychedelic. That's starting to get pretty interesting, kind of glitchy. Uh, let's uh, take a uh, three band EQ and just get rid of the lows. Um, <clears throat> I want the pitch effect to be random, or uh, sorry, not random, but uh, optional. I'm gonna name it pitchy. Psychedelic. 
Perfect. Um, then we want maybe a chorus. Give it some stereo spread. We can take a uh, fatuator. Saturate the more audible range for voices, which is around somewhere around 8k up to 2k, somewhere around there. And take a bit for the EQ. Um, we could take a frequency shifter as well. Let's put this guy over here. So I need the frequency shifter to be poly. And let's have a random. Just modulate it slightly, slightly. Nice. <clears throat> and I want this to be optional as well. Let's name it Beta Goblin. People who listen to Psytrance will probably know the reference. can we do with this guy? Let's uh, compress it a little bit just to uh, fix the dynamics of it. Crush it a little bit or squash it. Perfect. Um, then we can use the release time over here actually to. I don't know how to explain. It gets like some kind of delay effect, but yet it's not a delay. This guy, make it optional as well. Nice. Um, we can also have something else here. Let me think. Well, reverb and delay is obvious, of course, but uh, I'm not going to put it there at the actual moment, actually. Um, I want to see if we can find something else that is pretty interesting to have on a vocal. Maybe we can try the flanger. No, I don't like it in this case. <clears throat> Let's put the chorus here so each voice gets its own chorus. And then we 
we can also, if we take this macro and let's name it for uh, rephrase, um, what I mean with this is that we can modulate the start of point and the length and maybe the offsets as well. Now it's becoming more stutter, stuttery effect on it. So let's um, name it, make me stutter. Whoops. Or maybe stutter prop. Yeah, that's about it. Um, quite simple patch. Um, just, I mean, you don't need to go really crazy about this because I still want want the listener to hear that it's saying something about psychedelic. Um, just to be um, original in Psytrans, you know what I mean. Um, so, because I often find that vocal samples and tracks are usually processed up until you can't really hear what they're trying to say. So I believe that less is more in, in this case. Um, and to use this kind of patch, I would probably record it and resample it, maybe stretch it, um, or just punch in a sequence and um, cherry pick the best parts. Um, in this case, I just didn't think too much about the actual uh, notes. Um, so let's see how it sounds together with the kick and bass running along. So that's about it. Um, thanks for watching.